Okay, here's an example that contains a lot of good calculus concepts and also a lot of good pre-calculus concepts. We're given this function, f of x, is a base 7 log of 6x plus x to the negative 6. And we're told to find the equation of the line tangent to the function at x equals 1. So what we need to do is take the derivative of this function and then use that to find the slope at x equals 1. So we need to take the derivative of this and we'll use this principle. The derivative of a base b log is equal to 1 over x times the natural log of b. This little concept here allows us to take the derivative of a base b log and in this case b, our base, is 7. So let's just apply this concept to this function. So I'm going to say the derivative of this thing the derivative of log base 7 of 6x plus x to the negative 6 is going to be 1 over x times ln b right here. Okay, where my x thing, instead of differentiating x, I'm differentiating this. So I'm going to have 1 over this times ln of b. So it's going to be 1 over 6x plus x to the negative 6 times the natural log of b, and b in this case is 7, times ln of 7. Now that's how we would differentiate it if it were just a simple, a simple variable here, right here. But this isn't just a variable, this is a function. So we have to apply the chain rule. What we just did right here was take the derivative of the outer function, log base 7 of this. And now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So we can differentiate this right here just with the power rule, and that's fairly easy to do. This, the derivative of this thing inside the parentheses will be 6 plus negative 6x to the negative 7, just applying the power rule to each term. So this is our answer. And we could rewrite this if we want to with this sitting up on top there, and that would be fine. But this is it. This is the derivative of function f. Now we're told to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 1, so we need to find the derivative at x equals 1. f prime of x is what we just found here, so we need to find f prime of 1. And we get that by plugging in a 1 for the variable x in all of those places. So let's see what happens when we do that. We get 1 over, this is going to be 6 times 1, which is just 6, plus 1 to the negative 6, which is just 1, times natural log of 7, times, and over here we have 6 plus negative, and that's going to be a 1, or, or negative 6 times this, that's going to be a 1 to the negative 7. So this, you can see, works out to 0. 6 plus negative 6 is 0. So I end up with 0 over what I have here, which is 7 ln 7. And that's clearly going to be 0 because we have a 0 numerator. So at x equals 1, the slope of this function, the slope, our derivative, of our original function is 0. So if we want to find the equation of the line, we just need to find the y value at that point. So we also need to find not f prime of 1, but also f of 1. So the value of the function. And in this case, the numbers work out pretty nicely. It ends up being pretty easy. This is just going to be log base 7 of 6 times 1 plus 1 to the negative 6. I'm just plugging in a 1 for x in the original function to find f of 1. So this is log base 7 of, and down here we have 6 plus 1. So it's log base 7 of 7. And the base 7 log of 7 is simply 1. So we have a value of 1 and a slope of 0. And that's real easy to see. I'll just sketch a quick graph. At x equals 1, we have a value of 1 and a slope of 0. So it's this line right here, the line going through that point. And clearly, that's the line y equals 1. So that's our answer very simple little answer to what uh, started as a rather complicated problem. We can see this on the graphing calculator also. Let's graph this function. I'm going to turn this on and I've entered the function here. Now the calculator will do 
natural logs and it will do base 10 logs but it won't do base 7 logs but we can use the change of base formula instead of log base 7 of 6x plus x to the negative 6 I have the natural log of 6x plus x to the negative 6 over the natural log of 7 and that's mathematically equivalent to the given function I'm just simply using the change of base formula and it's typed in there in the calculator notation and I will set the zoom setting here to standard zoom and take a look and this is what the function looks like when we graph it now we're concerned with the point at x equals 1 so let's zoom in a notch right there I'm just gonna hit zoom 2 to zoom in and sure enough right there at x equals 1 it looks like the function does in fact have a value of 1 we can hit trace and type in 1 and at x equals 1 the function does have a value of 1 and it looks like it might have a slope of 0 there too like we found we can make it draw a tangent line I'm gonna hit the the draw key which is the second function whoops the um the second function here on the program key I'll hit second draw and option 5 here is a tangent and we tell it to draw a tangent at x equals 1 so I type 1 right there and hit enter and it draws a tangent line and there it is slope of 0 and it gives me the equation right down there now this is not exact this is just a numerical approximation but look at the number it says y equals negative 4.112 times 10 to the negative 6x that 4.112 times 10 to the negative 6 is approximately 0 and then this plus 1.0000041 that's approximately 1 so this is the line or the numerical approximation to the line y equals 0x plus 1 which is simply what we got right here y equals 1 so what we get uh, doing the math here matches up with what we see on the calculator and that's good but that's a good problem it has a lot of good calculus the um, derivative of a base b log function the tangent to a curve that's all good calculus stuff and then also a lot of good pre-calculus stuff um, what, what a, a change of base formula is and uh, calculating values for a logarithmic function so good problem there